Hey everybody and welcome back. In this part I am off to go see Micah. Because uh, that's the only job available to me. Like main job available to me right now. So let's go and see what he wants. Micah. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a cornered tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but... We got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. Gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. Long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. <laughs> you know me, Dutch, like a tiger. That's not really something I would ever associate with Pearson, uh, if it wasn't in the dialogue. Fine. A tiger. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. I'm sure he's the only person you don't actually see fight properly, like ever, in this entire game. You know, I've been fighting Comb for so long now. I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, uh, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater? And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then it, who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? And we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us. Hmm? Okay, just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. He couldn't have said that less sincerely, could he? 
As would I. Hey, up there. Men on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Maybe he's right, Hutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. Well, neither spot killed tripped. All right, cowpoke. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. As good a spot as any. I don't want to carry two guns. So there you go. What the hell is that? Is that a dead animal of some kind? Like a bird? We could have chosen a better spot to, you know, make our lookout vantage point. Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. A whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Yep. But end of a gun to the face. <laughs> Hello, sugar. You ain't dead, is you? Not yet, anyway. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Column's got a sense. Handing him over to the law, it's, I don't know. Strange times. 
They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella cool, right, we can draw them all. He's escaping, shoot him! Relax. Relax. I got him. I got him. Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> no, of course not. Not yet. But I will. Finally! Put his weapons over there! Morgan. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. <laughs> How's Woo? I hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Septic. Ain't nice. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Uh, Why are you uh, still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. It's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point cat. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached true. Let me go, Cole. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it. They get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sword. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you. Hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. Swing, swing, swing. Oh, what's going on? Why can't I?
don't want to go to Mexico. I want to go home. Home! Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. What the hell? doing down there it's one thing torturing a man it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland you better hurry it up all right that's one down when the law comes I hit him <laughs> well the cursor pretty much said I would hit him I'm surprised I didn't But yeah, I somehow managed to get past all of those sentries. But that is, that is pretty much what I'm talking about. Like all, all the old, all the other gangs seem to have hundreds in their in their number, yet we have like fifteen, maybe. Scrimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. I got you. You're safe now. That's pretty. Tough. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw. Will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How you feeling? Oh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear. First that. order of business is to cut that. Well, out. take care of yourself. You too. Well, I not cut the hair. Um, shave. I quite like him with long hair. Uh, yeah, Martha pulls off the long hair look. Uh, there we go.
Alright, what's the other one? Uh, okay, I have to go to Rhodes. So let's head into town. Ah, yeah, when I first did that mission, I was really panicking uh, for no other reason than I thought I'd lose all my stuff. Because I put a lot of, like, thought into what the clothes and items and just all, like, the random stuff that I've stolen and collected from camp and whatnot. I thought I'd lost all that. So, it was quite a relief when I saw the whole uh, Dutch and everyone in camp has replenished everything, weapons, etc. And I kept the money somehow. Three grand. Then again, I haven't upgraded the camp, so that explains why I got so much money. I am going to have to do that soon, I think. Somewhat awesome, you know, somewhat cool. Real nice I don't want uh, two guns strapped to my back. Okay, how far outside of roads do I have to go? to be able to equip my guns again. Oh my god. Alright, let me check the map. Alright, I'm on the border. Let's see if this works. I'm gonna try and get off the horse and hopefully I won't have my entire armory strapped to my chest. Well, strapped to my torso. Maybe if it, if, yeah, if I get off a bit sooner... There you go. Uh, let's see what Bill wants. For you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So, what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now, come on. This seemed legit to you, Bill. Sure. Dodge said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some. This sounds way too complicated. about them horses. And what are they born in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these gray boys a bit now. Oh. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we'll be God, that's that's they like even though I know it's coming, that's hey, still up. nasty every time I see it. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right. I could have told you. Look at him, of course he's dead! How could you not think this was a 
What am I doing? Why have I got a body? Where did the body come from? How did I pick up? Uh, uh, yeah. Alright. I went I went to climb over the the, the, the railing. <laughs> okay, I picked up the body. That was bizarre. Uh uh take two. With pleasure. Right. You're gonna die when you have a fucking you asked for it. The cowards are in the gun store. I'll get them. You take them back. Oh, I hit him in the, in the hand, I think. It's either the hand or the balls. I can't tell. The second town you've shot up. See that? Those cowards have run it away. Looks like most of them. Not all of them. Sheriff Gray. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. Come on. Sheriff Gray! You need to get a hold on this town. It's going to hell. Who do you think you are? Bunch of two big thugs from God knows where? You're so dumb to think we don't know what you've been doing. Come out, Sheriff. It's over. We put down far worse than you a hundred times over. This is the Grays town. Always has been, always will be. Only Grays I see left around here is you. You want us to come out? We'll come out! Shit! Aw, oh, Bill! Guns on the ground, now! Both of you! Don't do it! You know we can't do that! You put the gun down, Sheriff! I'll blow his brains out! You wanna join your little friend there, do you? Either way! Ah, oh, man. man. I like Troll. Morgan? How the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. And you can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Bury him proper someplace quiet. <clears throat> Maka? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. Mm. 
Sean has been killed. His head shot half off in an ambush. Still no Rhodes is in lockdown, gold. yes, because it's shot to pieces. Shit load of trouble. The gun shop is most certainly a write-off. Uh, where is Dutch? Eh, not that far. I can do that. I, I got about half hour left in this recording. So hopefully I can do that. It may be like a weird cut, maybe, at the end. If I have to sort of leave, uh, like pause the game quickly or whatnot. Because I've only got like an hour, hour-ish to record these uh, episodes. These videos. Idiot. But I'm positive I can squeeze yeah. this one last mission into this. It's a pretty fun one. These like these two missions back to back are pretty action packed. If this next one is the one I'm thinking of. Now, come on. Yep, that's the one I'm thinking of. that boy jack no oh. where's my goddamn son where is he where's my son they took him didn't they they took my son who took him we think the braithwaite woman took him oh. but kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like braithwaite boys where's my son if anything uh, where is my son dutch vandalin we will find him we will bring him back to you and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head abigail you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch. Yeah, it's posse time. About Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. Okay, let's go get that boy back. They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. And if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point on uh, so how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going This to is very it. cool. So come on! Just the whole scenery, the, the, the look, everything. Ah, no one too gotta just keep doing that. Is there anything I can change to prevent that? stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? 
Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There you tell are. him, Dutch. You tell him. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches. John, I need you to stay calm. Get down here now, you inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. You shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise. They should have brought more men. That is a young think. boy. <laughs> that is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this... I took those out pretty quickly. Like, I took out more than I thought I did. Yes, sir. He's not hiding under the table. Not behind the furniture. He's not behind the harp. Uh, or the candlestick. Uh, nope, not in here. Maybe the next room. Uh, are you Jack? No, that wasn't Jack. Jack, you in here? Jack, Jack, can you hear me? Is he behind the desk? The chair? No, I don't think he'd fit behind the globe. Jack. Uh, John, you know there's like Jack? stairs right here. Yeah. Didn't have to do that. Rifle time. You hearing me, Arthur? Get up here. Open the goddamn door. Shit. John, Arthur, we'll hold them down here. We got more coming in. Arthur, get out there. We got this door. Oh, that was in the forehead. This must be it! 
can't see a goddamn thing! <sighs> One, two, three! Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. Uh, uh, what about down? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. It's probably best I shot him. Quicker than burning alive. Guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Come here. <laughs> I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braidway? You stole Boys my Boys are liquor. off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there. We're on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this, logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine, but well, of course Marston's scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors, a solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. 
We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else you came for me risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love <sighs> ain't that fine <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to kill all these folk dutch just you in that case it'd be my honor to join you Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something, something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside Saint Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. This is spot okay, well, I'm gonna call it a day Lenny here. Uh, seems weird, I know. Because we've just started another mission. Well, but you know, I've only got about like, 10 know, minutes right to make sure no one left of this recording. Lenny, so chances are I'll start here, make sure the next part. Leave. John, we'll right get before back. that cutscene we'll we just watched. Rest so that's probably going to be the start packing. of the next uh, video. Hope you've all enjoyed. Hope you've all Come enjoyed on, the John. commentary. This Hasn't been. Crazy. I haven't said too much in this episode because there's been a lot of stuff happening. It's a lot of like plot-related missions in this uh, in the last like three or four I've done. But I hope you've all enjoyed. Regardless, hope you've all enjoyed the video and uh, everything else. If you could leave a like, a comment, and if you haven't hit it already, do think about hitting that subscribe button. Also, uh, stick around for the end screen, so the last 20 seconds or so of the video, because you will get two suggestions for walkthroughs on my channel that you might possibly be interested in. The arse, one of them is definitely tailored for you, and one of them is, I think, the most recent upload that I've done. Thank you all for watching, it does mean a lot. God bless you if you got this far. I mean, we're about, what, 17? Yeah, we're about 17 videos into this walkthrough. So if you're still watching these videos, then yeah, God bless you again. For now, though, that's pretty much it. So until the next episode, you look after yourself, you have a great day, and uh, yeah, I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, though, ta-da.